This tutorial will guide you through adding your first product to the Uverify system for compliance. If you haven't completed the onboarding process yet, please check out the onboarding video on YouTube or follow the onboarding checklist. You'll need to complete that first before adding a product. If you've already completed onboarding, your manufacturer address should be visible on the dashboard under Manufacturer Details. Just make sure it's enabled. Next, check that the authorized representative address is also enabled. In this example, the customer is using Uverify as their authorized representative, so our island address is shown here. If you don't see this address on your dashboard, it means the agreement hasn't been signed yet. Scroll down and check if it's enabled. If not, you'll need to enable it, and once we process the agreement, the address will appear here. In this example, both the UK representative and the EU representative have been enabled. The system shows their addresses because Toy Castle has signed an AR agreement with Uverify for both. Now, let's add a product to Uverify. If you want to place a product on the EU market and need Uverify to act as your representative, you must add the product here. Even if you have a valid AR agreement, we cannot represent your product unless it is added to the system. To add a product, click Add Product. You can either search for your product here or select from the category drop down. For example, I searched for puzzles, and it showed the category as toys and the product as games and puzzles. I'm happy with this selection. If you can't find your product in the system, you can click here to request the research team to add it. They usually add new products within 24 hours. Next, enter the name of the product. For example, I added Toy Castle spelling games for kids. If you're selling the product on Amazon, make sure the name matches your Amazon listing. Now, enter the batch number. This is a unique identifier assigned by the manufacturer to distinguish a specific batch of products. It helps with traceability, quality control, and regulatory compliance. You can also add a model name, which identifies a specific version or variation of the product. Then, upload a product image from your computer. You can add up to two images, one showing the product packaging and one of the product itself. Make sure the images are under 2 megabytes. If they're too large, you may need to reduce their size before uploading. Next, fill in the product specification section. This includes details about the product's features, materials, and technical requirements. The tool will also ask some questions about the product to determine which other directives or standards may apply. For example, with a toy, the applicable directives and standards can change if it contains electrical components or a battery. The next page lists the applicable directives and standards for your product. Carefully review and select the standards that apply. If your test report includes different standards, you can add or remove them here. If you untick a standard, it won't appear on the certificate. You can also click Add Additional Directive, then select something like the Low Voltage Directive, and it will appear in the list. Just tick the box to include it. If you've already entered your manufacturer details and authorized representative information during onboarding, they will be displayed here. Simply select the manufacturer details, in this case, Toy Castle, and then choose the authorized representative for the EU or UK, depending on where you plan to sell your product. Once you submit, you'll reach this page. At this stage, the status of the product is marked as incomplete because no technical files have been uploaded yet. Double check the product details you entered earlier for accuracy. If anything needs updating, you can edit and save the changes here. You'll see key details such as the product name, photos, authorized representative for the EU and UK, product specifications, and the relevant directives and standards. Now, go to the technical files section. These documents serve as evidence of compliance, containing all the necessary information about the product's safety, testing, and regulatory measures. The responsibility for creating and maintaining these documents lies with the manufacturer. Importers and distributors must ensure the manufacturer has these files and be able to provide them if requested. If you're a private label seller rebranding a product, you take on the manufacturer's responsibilities and must have a technical file. The required technical files vary depending on the product. Not every document is needed for all products. Only PDF files are accepted. If your documents are in Word format, 
please convert them to PDF before uploading. Each file must be under 5 megabytes. UVerify provides technical file checklists for specific products. If you need one, you can contact support. The first document you need is the risk assessment file. This is essential for most products. If you need a template, you can download one from our resources section or our shop. The risk assessment file identifies potential hazards associated with the product and outlines the measures taken to minimize risks, ensuring compliance with the General Product Safety Regulation, GPSR, and other relevant directives. I am now uploading the risk assessment file for my product. Next is design documents. These include technical drawings, blueprints, and specifications that define the product's structure and function, ensuring it meets safety and regulatory standards from the design phase. Since this document is not required for conformity assessment in my case, I'll tick the box to mark it as not needed. You can also enter a reason for the exemption here. Manufacturing details provide information about the production process, materials used, and quality control procedures. This helps authorities verify product consistency and traceability in case of safety concerns. For my product, this is not required, so I'll mark it as not needed. Test reports and certificates contain results from accredited laboratories proving that the product has passed safety, durability, and compliance tests under the applicable EN standards or specific CE directives. I have an EN 71 test report from TV, so I will upload it here. You can add multiple files if needed. Packaging label, CE label and other markings, displays mandatory safety marks, such as the CE marking, if required, warnings, batch numbers, and importer details. These markings help consumers and regulators identify compliant products. My product includes UKCA and CE markings along with the EC Rep logo, so I'll upload the packaging file here. User manual and safety instructions are essential for safe product use. This document must be available in the language of the target market, for example, German for Germany or French for France. Since we sell our product in Germany, I will upload both the English and German versions of the instructions. Manufacturer agreements outline responsibilities for compliance, product safety, and liability in case of defects or recalls. As this document is not needed, I will mark it as not required. General supporting documentation includes additional files such as declarations of conformity, supplier invoices, and other proof of regulatory compliance. These help demonstrate due diligence and may be required during market surveillance inspections. I am not adding this file, so I'll mark it as not required. The next question asks whether the product requires a notified body. If your product needs one, you will have to enter their name, address, four-digit notified body number, reference number, and any additional details. You can visit our resources section to check whether your product needs a notified body. Only high-risk products require one. Once all files are uploaded, you can check here to see if any required files are missing. If everything is correct, click Submit. If all the documents have been uploaded correctly, the status will change to complete. Your product is now fully registered, and you verify will be able to represent it in the EU and UK markets. We will use the documents you provided to confirm compliance with EU safety regulations. You can now download the EC Declaration of Conformity or the UKCA Declaration of Conformity from here. This is a critical compliance document. If you are an Amazon seller, Amazon may request this document, and you can provide it as proof of compliance.